Hello YouTube and everyone, this is Henio. My name's Henio and I am gonna talk about algorithms today. This is Henio Talks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, algorithms are a tool that I use to make any decision whenever I am unable to make a decision. They're actually a tool that you can use for anything in your life. So pretty much what an algorithm is, is uh, making a list uh, of a list of a list of a list. Uh, you can use this, for example, to make a, um, one of the best applications of it is for like a job search. You can uh, make a list of the uh, all the industries that you're good at. You can then uh, narrow down that, you know, you can pick a list, for, uh, pick a number uh, with a, using a random number generator. You can actually download this from the App Store or like on a, you can just go straight to Google and search random number generator and uh, you'll be able to, uh, Download the uh, or, or use a random number generator to pick a, a number uh, from your list each time, so you can make decisions with it. And so I've used it, for example, to um, on a job search, you can make a list of the industries, pick an industry. Uh, uh, we're using the random number generator and dive in and maybe make a list of the cities that the top industries are are in, and then uh, that the top the top cities for that industry then go in there and then make a, a, a list of the top companies in that industry and, and dive in there so uh, moving in deeper and deeper and deeper uh, is uh, would eventually lead you to a very good qualified application at a very good place then you start the process over when you're ready to do that again you can use this for a very inventive Halloween costume making a list of all of the awesome things uh, pretty much this is a really good tool for anyone who is indecisive and you can't really make a decision or if you are uh, out of decisions if you are uh, out uh, you know if you're producing a, a video on, on YouTube I do use algorithms for this I have a uh, if I don't know what to produce, the algorithm will direct me and it'll guide me. And so we can use the algorithms also to uh, explore our mind, our own thoughts. We can write down everything we're thinking or maybe like the different categories. And then we can uh, use a random number generator to pick one of those numbers or just ran, uh, and, and dive in deeper and deeper. And we don't actually have to have all of the thoughts organized or all of the options or the entire algorithm complete. By, by thinking of in, in the sense of, of our algorithmic thinking, I should say, uh, maybe that works. Uh, it kind of gives us a guidance of any thought that we have in the future of where we could place it. And so it kind of gives you an idea of you have control over every single thought you will have and every single thought you've had is there categorized somewhere in the algorithmic process in your mind. So it's a very good way to think about stuff and a great way to, to, to be inventive. You can use it to buy uh, for gift shopping, for example. Uh, I like to make a list of all the things that somebody might like. Uh, maybe the different uh, genres or categories, for example, electronics or maybe betting, because those are all be great gifts for someone. And then, uh, and then you can, uh, it's, let's say it picks electronics, uh, and then I can dive into, you know, I want to get them a Blu-ray, do I want to get them a, a, a game system, a video game? There's a lot of things you can do. You can get somebody, in it. and then, uh, and if you do have this algorithmic process, uh, you know, you really don't want to dive in too much to creating any of these until you actually need it, because it can be very time-consuming, and and uh, when we do a lot of um, stuff like that, like a lot of uh, something that's, that we don't grow from, it's, it turns out to be an escapist thing, we don't want to do that. So there's really no need to organize our thoughts unless uh, the, the moment occurs for it. So for example, if you have a business, it would be a very good idea to organize your thoughts, to come up with an algorithm, because that way you can uh, use it over and over to, uh, it'll be beneficial to spend the time to come up with a to complete it, you know, come up with all the categories, maybe do some research. If you're doing a haunted house, for example, do a research of all the types of haunted houses you can do. That way you can have very, be very inventive with the rooms and, and things like that. So it's definitely something, it's just a good tool to use. Sometimes you use it more than others. I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, algorithms and, the to uh, and it being a great way to organize your thoughts. Uh, remember, if you have complete control over your mind, there's nothing you can't accomplish. And uh, also... Uh, we want to be able to be able to live in the moment, and that means uh, less weight on any thought or anything. We want to be live and in, in, in here and present, and so that means that the quicker we can make decisions by using algorithmic processes or uh, assumptions, things like that, that uh, wise assumptions, a lot of things that are in in place to help us make quick decisions. It's also that we can be in the moment. So the more we can do these things, the more that we can enjoy life presently and not be so caught up uh, in our minds or or. or or have any decisions or actions that we regret. So um, 
This is uh, Henio Talks. If you guys have anything that you would like to discuss, you could add it, uh, comment on it, and you can share my uh, channel with anyone who might be interested in expanding their mind a little bit. Uh, other than that, it's nice talking to you guys, and we'll catch you next time.